Hello, Saga Soul here, back with more of the Eternal Cylinder. We are on our way to go and check out whatever this Travala is hovering over, and this is a house. Hello. I need more leadership. Gosh darn it. That's a revival shrine over that way. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> no, I do not. The hell? What just? Okay. Oh, hello. <gasps> I'm well aware that I need more leadership. Uh, but hey, egg is egg. Oh, it has like a Egyptian thing on its head. Completely forgot what the thing is called. But, you know, the thing. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Apparently not. Do I have jumpy legs? No, jumpy legs got deleted. But I do have a floaty. I do have a floaty. Right there is an Onky first goal. Oh, hello. Oh, you ate it automatically. Okay, cool. <laughs> we have a meteor feet. No, we do not. They are depleted. The plant is depleted. Deleted. Yes. We have some here. And I really just need to find more food. I actually think I might need to upgrade the food meter. Okay, so where is the actual entrance? Uh, this has to be something. Hi. 
don't, don't mind me. Yeah, uh, don't, don't mind me. It's very fiery indeed. Whoa. What an inhospitable place this was. The air was suffocating and the heat was almost unbearable. The Trebum would have to make good use of their abilities to overcome the obstacles before them. But who would choose to actually live here? What terrible things they must have endured in the outside world. It's a little bit of, bit of text missing there. I see things. I see cube. <laughs> careful, careful. I do hope that the others do not try to follow me here. I need cube. That looks like a door, so I can probably go around. Wants to be cube. You can become cube. Right, okay. Let's move on. There might be something down this path. Ow. Yes, yes, ow. Ooh. That's not something I have. Never mind, I thought I needed to be a specific shape for that. Ooh, hello. Hello. Well, there's the elder. Ow. Ow. Um. 
you can have that. And I'll put these in you for you to process. And you can eat that. And we'll have a couple of these. And I will keep going. is making me apprehensive. Can I, can I? Okay. Good. Is this? That might be what I need. Um, who do I want to? You are very much dying. Uh, you don't have any. You don't have much. Did you really? Did you? Are you for real? You, you just you decide to just drop and die literally as soon as I get the heat resistant mutation. Are you for real? Uh. Right, I think I actually need to eat one of these. Seeing as a couple of our guys are somewhat dying. That's the thing that make you the trunk big. Yeah. I'm not warding good, I know. Dust. Get all the dust. May as well gather a few of these. Ow. Okay, note to self. Don't stand in it. That's a fire breathing trunk. Who had the fire breathing thing before? You did. Oh, yikes, yeah, we are really not doing well. Is cube. There is cube. Okay. Rude. Maybe. It is. That's flashing at me. Maybe I can activate it somehow. Oh. I see, I see, I see. Oh. It's one more. I think I did see I think I found it. Yep. Also dust. 
Uh, I hope these aren't going to explode. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's exactly the thing I had hoped that they would not do. I didn't mean to spray water, I wanted to give you this. I, I wanted to give you this. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay. So those little clusters, they are indeed bombs. Ow. So, what is this done? Yeah, that doesn't help. That, that that does that does not help. Hmm. Huh. There are a lot of bombs on the walls. Maybe I am supposed to blow something up. I quite honestly don't know. I do, however, want to take a look over here first. Oh, there's a witness. That's rude. It's still going. Well, all right, and that's going to drop the stalactite. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So is all that just for the extra things then? Oh hello, completely missed that. Is there any on the other side as well? No? If there's nothing else to be found, I'll I'll just cut until we progress. Okay. Um, you have only protected mutations, so you will be the one to step on buttons. The rest of you, please stay. <laughs> This skin mutation. Stupid. Wait. 
I'm being really dumb. <laughs> These must be existing for a reason, right? Hopefully it works. But as it reset, I think it reset. Uh, I hope it works. It did not work. It did not work. you open. Oh, preset device. Can you stop, please? Uh, okay, I, I still had the trunk, I still had the hardened skin, and I still had the floaty. lost your mixer, buddy. Well, I'm gonna have to fix all that later on. Who'll tell the ender elder? Hi. I'm sorry to tell you, but your brother's dead. Yeah, I think that's the way back. Oh, you didn't lose the mixer body. I was looking at the wrong shrubum. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, what is up with your trunk? The elder saw sadness in the trebum's eyes and gave them words of comfort. Do not mourn for me and my brother. I wish only that my end had been like his. For when we act in the service of others, we become greater than ourselves without losing who we are. I was afraid and stayed behind, and I am lesser for it. But I can feel the tremors in this cave, and I know soon my brother and I will be reunited. So, let me help you while I can. You are here to learn about the great lenses that power a Trebum palace. Wander in the desert, looking for the brightest glare you can find. Follow the glare until you find a great structure made of glass. You may have encountered one already, but to activate them, you will need a special mutation. The key to this mutation is held by the great Gar. Three lenses is all you need. And there are many left. Follow the glares, find the gar, and you will succeed. It is a task fit for the great heroes of old. But who says that ordinary little Trebum can't be heroes? Yeah, we're heroes. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that your brother is dead though. And the way you say I can feel the tremors in this cave, that's just sad. But thank you for your wise words. Your trunk is terrifying. And I'll be leaving now. <laughs> and collect the last bits of dust. And I think this is the way we... Yeah, this is the way we go.
Guys, you're, f you're, you're burning your feet. So, who had the uh, fire trunk invitation? No. Who? Who? No, seriously, who had it? I completely forgot. I seriously forgot. Can't believe I have done this. Of course. That must show be obvious. Boy. Okay, the barrier is now blue, so we can move on, but I do want to have a little more of a look around. Do these react to heat? No. I do find them very interesting to look at, because they're, they're shaped like fans, and that, that does make me think that they can somehow activate and blow you upwards. What is that? Uh, actually, I shouldn't. The Trebum were far from delicate, but the stench of these plants was too much even for them. They would have to clean them, and thoroughly. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, Trebron. Okay, so I can't hold it for very long. Clean, so... Water. Oh, sorry. So what is that and what does it do? Who did I give it to? This stench leaf. And I was looking at the wrong thing. Is Melodorus plant grows from a strange organic base characterized by a matrix of cell like depressions. These structures are generally found below ground, and the plant only grows when the top of the structure is uncovered. Whether the structure is something like a rhizome or an entirely separate organism is unknown and that it's not a flattering picture so is it a skin mutation let's see Trevum do not yatch Oh, I think I'm. Ha I think I have an idea of what this might be. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have to find that out on a words. Anyway, we're gonna have to find that out another time. Well, anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I will see you next time, bye bye!